Hi, Northern Elementary. It's Mrs. Ford from the Science Lab and Project Lead the Way. Uh, Mr. Hills asked all of us to try to keep in contact with everyone. And some people are reading stories and I love that. That's wonderful, but I'm gonna take you guys on a little field trip today on our farm. So let's go. All right, so throughout our time on the farm today, you'll probably see the whole family because farming is a family affair. <laughs> so here's Brian and Winston with me right now in the big ugly truck. We're gonna go try to catch a calf. And there's Alex doing his part. All right, maybe a little wider, but I think we're good. Oh, <laughs> well, we hit just a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. So this calf here was born last April, right after spring break. And it's actually Brian's cow. It's almost a year old. Okay, so here we are at the bigger part of our farm. Um, and this is my favorite time of year, owning a farm. It's starting to really turn green. Um, if you can see the field behind me, it's uh, growing winter wheat right now and uh, it's starting to look really good. So the warmer weather and the rain that we're getting right now is really starting to help that wheat come up out of the ground. Okay, so now we're on our way to see the rest of our herd. The cows that we're gonna see today, I think we have about 35, approximately 35 cattle right now on our farm. Um, and another reason this is my favorite part of the year is because it's baby calf time. So we're gonna go today and see if we have any new baby calves to add to our herd. Cattle, so we're gonna have to walk from here. Um, in the state of Kentucky, it's about 65% of all farms in Kentucky are owned by small families like ours. And as far as cattle goes, Kentucky is the number one state east of the Mississippi for agriculture for cattle. So we are here on the farm today to drop some feed for all the cattle. Right now they're in the corral and they're all kind of eating on some just like grain feed and in just a few minutes we're going to be dropping some hay for them to eat so being on a farm is lots of fun there's always animals there's always new life in the springtime one of the hardest things about farming is keeping the animals fed. They have to be fed no matter what the weather is like. Uh, we were out here a few nights ago and it was pouring rain and just not very nice weather. So they have to be fed all, all parts um, of throughout the winter. Um, if it's rainy, if it's cold, if it's windy, snow, so... I mean, sometimes being on a farm is not very glamorous in that light. I tried to get as close to the corral as possible. This is about as close as I can get without getting my boots stuck. Uh, just to show you how close those cows get in there. They love that sweet feed. It's something like a special kind of treat for them. I just wanted to take you guys real quick into the old barn here that we store our hay bales. This is what we feed the cattle through the winter so they have plenty to eat. And it looks like we've got several bales. Now. 
Okay, so I'm not really sure how this happened, but we have a cow out of the field, which is not a good situation. I'm gonna see if I can try to get her back in. She's coming for the sweet feed. Hopefully she'll come to me. So today I wasn't able to show you any new baby calves. Um, not yet anyway. We do have a few calves down there that have been born within the last few weeks, but no brand new ones. So maybe in a couple days we'll come back and check again. Um, all the red cows, the Herefords, we should be having baby calves around the week of spring break, we're hoping. So we should have about 20 baby calves. Um, so maybe around that time I'll come back and show you guys the brand new babies. The cow that got out has found a tree down. It's knocked down this little section of fence. And so our little trip to the farm that we plan to take maybe an hour to feed the cows today is gonna turn into a little bit more of a job because we have to repair this fence or that cow and all the rest of them are gonna get back out. And we definitely don't want that to happen. So no trip to the farm is complete without taking a few minutes to wash her off our boots. Get pretty dirty over there, especially this time of year when it's... The last thing I'm gonna do is grab some fish food and go feed the fish down at the pond. I'm actually gonna take just a few minutes and feed the fish, a little bit of food. I have to walk around and toss it in. We got several kinds of fish in the pond. Definitely starting to hear the frogs in the pond in the mornings and in the early evenings. So we should have lots of little frogs coming up out of here any, any day now. Seeing the little tadpoles. I'm going to try to hold the camera very still see if we can catch any fish coming up for a bite. The fish themselves are hard to see, but you can see the little ripples they make when they come up to get the food. Thanks for joining me today at the farm. It was a fun time. I'm glad that I was able to get outside today and get some fresh air with the family. I hope you guys really enjoyed getting to see some of our cows and some of the things that Miss Ford does when I'm not at school. Um, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. I really am missing school and I can't wait to get back and hopefully see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.